Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install VPS Office 2019 on Ubuntu 19.4. When I decided to view tutorials, I want to make the simple tutorials how to use for Ubuntu 19.4. I didn't know that VPS even got a new release and it looks so much better actually. So, yeah, I'm going to just download the 64 bit version. You can take the first one, if it's a new version, just use the same method. As you can see, it's about 203 megabytes to download, and it can take a while depending on your internet, on your internet speed. One is going to take a while, but now we're going to install it, because if you just use the normal software center of Ubuntu, it doesn't really want to install correctly, so I'm just gonna install GDB. It's a graphical interface program to install dev packages. You can use the terminal as well, but I'm gonna use a graphical installation, which works very well. So we just paste this command inside the, inside the terminal, or you can find this package in your software center as well. But it's so easy. You just press Enter to confirm. As you saw. And now we just wait. So I'm going to fast forward the process until GDB is installed. So I will see in a few seconds. Fantastic, as you can see, we are just about finished with the process of installing GDB. So now we just wait for this to be done and then we can go back to our download. So let's close this. As you can see, it's still running at crazy speeds. <laughs> so while we are busy with this, I'm going to continue with the next thing. And that is basically, APS Office got one of the main problems is it's only by default available in the system language in English and in Chinese. But if it's not your main languages, you might want... There is a way to install a few other languages as a system interface. It is Dutch, Great Britain English, Spanish, Mexican, I believe, French, Canadian, French, France, Japanese, Polish, Portuguese, maybe? Portuguese, Brazilian, Portuguese, Ra um, Russian, I don't know what this. I don't know what this is. I'm, I, I, I apologize. I assume this is Chinese, Hong Kong, Chinese, Taiwanese. So you can install any of these language packs and change the system language after installed VPS. So I'm going to show this as well. So for instance, I'm going to take now. I'm going to take um, Russian because I know it a bit. So. Now we just download this package also. You can only do it after the installation. So if you prefer English or Chinese, you don't have to do it. But it's just if you want it. So now you have to again to choose Russian or the language you want. And as you can see, it's a very small little package. So then we just download it. And as you can see, it's also busy downloading now. So I'm going to fast forward this process for these two downloads for until one of them is finished. So I will see in a few seconds. Good, so as you can see, this package is finished with the download, so we can just click on the folder or open the location where this package is, and I'm just going to extract it. So, after all of this is now downloaded and installed, we can move this package to the right location. And that's basically it, yes. so now we just wait for the installation to be completed. And I'm going to fast over this process again, so we will see you in a few seconds. 
good so it's all done and i'm just going to go back to the folder where this package is as you can see and i'm just gonna right click on um, right click on the package now and i'm going to say open up other application and choose edb as i said the default ubuntu software didn't work for me once it installed but it didn't want to work so that's why i went with this method but you can try it out also and the terminal you can install it as you want but i know this method works so now we will just wait and install package type your password not mine your password password which you used to log into your system etc so now we just Wait yes, so I'm gonna close my browser. We don't need we don't need it anymore. And this is just like instructions which we are talking about while doing it also. So it's nothing new here. So as you can see we are waiting for the installations the installation to start. It can take a few minutes is a big package so i just want to wait until it start before i fast forward it again so now we just click on this then, then you will know for sure when it's done so i'm gonna fast forward it until it's done so i will see in a few seconds fantastic so as you can see we are nearly done it will just when it's completely done we will see a change here so just we just have to wait a few more seconds <laughs> it's a long wait for freedom <laughs> but it's okay so i'm gonna close this file manager as you can see we got some launches here for vps which will look different soon but you can remove them if you want because they are in, in your menu as well but you just have to wait until this is all done it can take a while good as you can see it's all done so you can either just go right click on it and say allow launching and it will open up like this or you can i will just remove them because I don't like these two buckets. So let's say move to trash. If it doesn't want to, okay, it does. So then we just type in VPS and you've got all your VPS offices. As you can see, you can remove them. And then we say I accept, or you don't have to accept. And as you can see, it looks much clearer. This is still a problem with one of the fonts, but you can fix it, but it's nothing major. As you can see about VPS, it is VPS 2019, simple, creative, not simple. <laughs> and it looks very clean, very pretty, but as I said, it only has Chan Chinese and English USA as the system interfaces. So let's add our Russian interface, but you can choose any one. So this is nearly written correctly. There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to open up a terminal. I'll press Ctrl, Alt, and T together. And I'm going to open up my file manager as root. So that you can move things into your file manager because we because the place where we need that Russian package we can't do it as a normal user so we have to be as administrator so there we go so we will just do the the needed you can break your system if you go into places where it shouldn't go so just do what I do and everything will be just fine. So we just copy this package which we extracted. We go to file system, opt, 
you can see the path to here also Kingsoft VPS Office Office 2016 and now we're going to go right down 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 to MUI and then you just paste that folder here and now you close it all up close 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 the text editor and let's test it all out so it will be now for all three the VPS apps presentation spreadsheet and writer so let's go to spreadsheet Let's make it nice and full, new document, and now we go over to our dictionary, and choose Russian, how awesome is that? And now we have to restart our VPS system, and let's go now to the other one, <laughs> because they all work, you only have to do it once and then it's everywhere. So this is still English. I hope they fix it soon. I'm sure they will fix it soon. It's a community project, so you can even yard, but this is all. As you can see, it is no longer English. Except the menu, but it's all nice and in Russian. And yeah, so it's a very easy process and it's very well done. If your language is not there, you can contact the creator of this app, of the language uh, it is in the arts repo the AUR and you can just maybe you have translated so yeah it's very cool and useful thank you for watching see you later goodbye